Hello world ones, it is the end of June and I'm out in the countryside today on this beautiful warm summer's afternoon. So this weekend was one of those ones where it's not practical to get up to the mountains and I'd usually head to my local woodland but I really miss Stranded. I've been back for two weeks now and I thought instead of just staying in my local woods why not have a lovely little drive up into the Northamptonshire countryside so I've driven for about 45 minutes I think and ended up right here. This is actually a path that I took on Stranded. I'm not sure what I'm doing really, I've got no plan. I do know that there is some open access woodland over there but I'm just gonna have a mosey about, see where it takes me and just enjoy being out here which weirdly seemed so far from home when I was doing Stranded but when you jump in the car it's really not far at all. So I've got my bivvy bag. I have forgotten my trekking poles. I've got a small tarp, but I'm gonna have to use a stick or a tree or something now. So that's fine, have to be creative. Yeah, let's get going, have a wander, see where we end up. Cool. It's quite something out here. What are those lines? What is that? What is it freaking out? The woods are just over there. The humidity today crazy I mean my eyelids are sweating all right let's go all right here we are in open access woodland this is absolutely beautiful in here there is no traffic noise it's gorgeous and lush and green and uh, the great thing is about this oh, wow. I have no idea what I'm looking for no idea at all so I just keep walking until I find it <laughs> I am happy as Larry, I tell ya. Oh, I hadn't realized how much I'd missed just wandering. There's something really special about exploring new places that you've never been to before. Hey, Mr. Fox. All right, let's see if I can get me a walking stick. Yeah. Ah. yeah, it's a bit fancy, but it'll do. I'm gonna stop in here in this lovely little nook. Oh, and I'm gonna chill, have a drink, make some tasty food, and have an amazing night's sleep out here in these beautiful woods. I've got my small tarp today, and some pegs, and some cordage. Let's have a look. Cool! Right, so I stuck a ground sheet down here, pegged that in, and with the top, I've just had a fiddle with it until I've got something that I'm happy with and I'm loving that. That's perfect. What a lovely little summer nook. Look at this beautifulness just outside of camp quite something out here. Hmm, camp. Right, so today for my tea, I've got a delicious homemade chicken curry. So I'm gonna get that cooking. I am Marvin. gone half ten already and I can't believe actually that I found such a beautiful quiet woodland right on my doorstep really I mean a 40 minute drive is nothing and I feel like doing Stranded has really inspired me to explore closer to home see what's about. Here wig glad I've got me head bug net on tonight. Yeah it's been 24 degrees today which has been gorgeous and I think tonight's going to be about 14 degrees which is lovely and warm so for the first night of the year I've been able to bring out my summer sleeping bag which is all set up behind me. There is a pretty constant flurry of <laughs> bugs coming at me trying to eat me but it's too warm to put my damn puffy on so I'm just flailing about like a lunatic 
and hoping for the best, but that's fine. It's all part of summer camping. So I think I'm just gonna make myself a hot drink now and settle down for the night. I'm not tired yet and I'm hungry again. I can't believe that squeaky bird's still going. It's been going for hours. All right, I'm gonna have a snack and then try again. Still being hunted by a very aggressive mosquito that sounds like it's about the size of a pigeon and it's managed to bite me already on my face through my head bug net. Anyway, it's uh, about quarter past three in the morning and I haven't slept yet. It's actually starting to get light. Um, those lights, it's gotta be a full moon. I'm sure it's around about a full moon at the moment. I've never seen a moon look like that. I can't think of another explanation. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get a little bit of sleep now. Morning guys. It's 4.30 and I've given up trying to sleep because my face keeps getting bitten through my bug nut. I'm roasting in my sleeping bag because I'm having to have everything inside the sleeping bag to stop from getting bitten, but my face is so itchy from all the bites that I can't sleep and I can't relax because I know they're just keeping biting me so it's not been a relaxing night that I was hoping for it's put me off booby camping in the summer actually I've never had them go for my face like this before I dread to think the state of it honestly so I'm just gonna have like a coffee and um, maybe go back to my car see if I could sleep just for like an hour before it gets too hot and then go home. Oh, which way did I come in? That way. I totally forgot I had this cap in my bag. So I could have put that on overnight to hold the bug net off my face and then keep the mosquitoes off my face. I totally forgot I had it. We're all pretty ropey. Taking the simplest easiest way back to my car that I can. 